So Michael, let's look at how the year has been. I think academies and free schools are doing very well, great progress, hundreds more academies, promise of 500 free schools by the end of the election, good work. I think academic standards as well, great progress. It's not been without its difficulties, a few, uh, few moments of flexibility needed on your behalf, but the curriculum and exam change is very good, so we can be pleased with progress on that front. Three things I'd like you to focus on in the year ahead. First of all, we've still got to close the gap. Too many poor children not getting a good deal in school. Must be a big focus, can't leave it to the Lib Dems. Secondly, you've got to make sure that whatever you leave in the DfE, if the 2015 general election doesn't go quite according to plan, can't be dismantled by a future Labour government. And finally, there's a big area which you should be focusing on, which is character education. This is a classic area for Conservatives. It's very you. It's a core part of what schooling is about, and I'd like you to focus on that. But so far, so good. Keep up the good work. Well, Michael, your first year at the Coalition Academy was a bit of a disaster. There was the building schools for the future, which you abolished in a very messy way. There was leak after leak. You seemed to be getting beaten up by Ed Balls all the time. Then there was your plans for the EBAC, which you had to give up on because you didn't get them right. But what a change you've made in the third year. You've really turned it around. Not just because there are now hundreds of new academies, not just because there are dozens of free schools, but you've made your politics very clear. You've followed up your words with action, you've argued your case brilliantly, and you've taken the fight to the Labour Party, showing not just why you're right in schools, but why the Conservative way is better than the Labour way. You're seen as a kind of philosopher king now with the Conservative Party, and even as its leader, of course, you say you don't want the job, lots of people believe you, but they do see in your politics the way that Conservatives can win. Not just arguments, but win elections. So yes, you've been in fights, yes, you've got dirty, yes, you've been doing terrible things in the playground, but you seem to be finally winning your struggles in a way that makes the Tories think they can win the biggest struggle of all in the next election. OK, Gove, I'll keep this brief. I'm afraid it's been a disastrous year for you. Um, the turnaround you had to make on the EBAC qualifications was not only embarrassing, it showed your ineptitude. You managed to alienate the entire profession. Yeah, the coalition government were against you. And you managed to show that you were, your principles hark back to kind of a, a policy of examinations that came from the 1950s. You've not managed to inculcate any kind of equality in education at all. The poorer boroughs are suffering and education standards are getting worse, while the richer bor bor boroughs are improving and the education standards are getting better, so you've failed on that level. And I'm afraid you are considered in the teaching profession to be possibly one of the worst education secretaries ever.